Hey guys, Coach Alex and Coach Sue here with Physique Development, and today we are going to educate on the single arm dumbbell row. This is a great movement to train the upper back and the upper division of the lat, and I'm excited to share that with you guys. First, we're gonna get started with the foot positioning in this movement with Sue, and so she's gonna step forward here. When we look at the foot positioning, the most stable environment that we're going to have is with the leg that you're performing the movement with that arm is going to be forward. The reason for this is that it puts her in a position where it's very difficult to rotate and put the spine in a compromised position. Whereas if she goes with the other leg forward, this opens up her core to be able to rotate. Now, can you perform the movement with the other leg forward? Yes. It is going to be more difficult to stabilize and when we are educating with this, depending on the level of athlete that we have, we want to be in the most stable environment possible and by having the same leg forward, that's creating that environment. From there, what Sue is going to be doing is creating tension through her glutes, creating stability through her abdomen, and then from there, she's in a very stable environment to be able to simply row. As she's pulling that dumbbell to her hip, we're going to have a couple of things that we want to look at. I'm gonna have Sue go ahead and stand up here, rotate towards the camera, and showcase to you guys kind of what we're looking at within her back. We're going to be training the upper back musculature, so we're going to be training the traps, we're going to be training the rhomboids, we're going to be training the teres, and then the upper division of this lat. And the elbow angle is going to be relative to the tissue that we're training, just as we would be with all of our lat training. So as Sue is pulling, what we're looking for here is going to be a slight outward intent to that elbow to allow for us to really target this tissue specifically. It's gonna put us in a position where that tissue is very well targeted. So as we get back into positioning here, and so you guys have a good understanding of the tissue that we're truly targeting, Sue's going to go ahead and pick up the dumbbell and perform a few repetitions of this exercise for you to be able to see. The one thing that I will say is that with the hand placement that she is taking to allow for her same leg to be forward, it is going to have a slight degree of pronation or external rotation at the wrist to allow for that dumbbell to pass her leg. And if you are pulling with a true neutral hand placement, what's going to happen is that you may run into that dumbbell running into your leg if you're in a position where the dumbbell is just a larger dumbbell in general. Two common tips that we share with our clients when going over this movement is going to be where the hand placement is going to be. So with where this is at, it allows for Sue to maintain a neutral spine position. If she is able, if she was to move the bench up, what happens here is that she's standing a little bit too upright and it will be very awkward to try and pull and it will be a lot of momentum generation and not a whole lot of muscular tension being created. So by having this at a level that keeps Sue in a greater plane of her body being almost uh, perpendicular with the floor, it allows for us to have a better positioning to pull. The other tip that we share with our clients is that this is a movement where we can move a lot of load. And so in this movement, utilizing things like VersaGrips are going to be immensely beneficial. VersaGrips are just going to be like wrist straps or something of that nature to where we can wrap that around the dumbbell and not be hindered by our forearm. When we look at utilization of VersaGrips, what's going to happen is that when we're training the lats, when we're training the upper back, those are pretty big muscles. And when we look at the forearms themselves and they're being active through so many other uh, movements and, and those different factors, it's going to give out before those bigger muscle groups. So by utilizing the Versa grips, the forearms become no longer a hindrance and allow for us to really train the tissue that we're wanting to train. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in any other videos, then definitely check out the rest of our YouTube channel. Or if you want to look at some articles or some different resources, check us out at physiquedevelopment.com or other social channels.